Welcome back to the halftime show for Southern Columbia and Mount Carmel. We'll head back to the Silver Bowl with Jimmy Coles and the students of Mount Carmel's TV crew in just a little bit. But first, we wanted to give you a peek at the achievements and opportunities afforded to these students of Mount Carmel area. We especially want to thank the TV crew for providing such great coverage of tonight's live action. You'll see quickly that they have a lot more to offer. I'm Principal Aaron Demansky, and it's always a great day to be a Red Tornado at Mount Carmel area. Both our junior and senior high schools are housed within this building on our campus. Our maintenance staff does a phenomenal job keeping our school looking great. Students have had an awesome start to the school year. Some of our high school opportunities for students are advanced placement courses at MCA, while providing dual enrollment opportunities through Commonwealth University and Luzerne Community College. We also offer programs in the arts, music, vocational and technical opportunities. We recently launched our co-op program at MCA where students can earn credit while being placed with employers such as Geisinger, Great Dane and other neighborhood businesses. Academics are very important at MCA. Just want to highlight some of our recent success of our math department and students who did a phenomenal job on the Keystone exams this past school year. MCA has also had students do very well in academic competitions and STEM-based activities such as Odyssey of the Mind. And this does carry over into our classrooms, as you can see here in Mr. Wagner's science class. So what we're doing is a multi-day activity where we're dealing with innovation. Students are starting by building boats out of aluminum foil. And what they're going to do then is they're going to design them with Tinkercad and 3D print their own designs like some of the ones that I have up here. We were recently given a grant to purchase 3D printers and uh, we're gonna be putting them to use in this classroom as we already have. We are invested in community outreach through our buddy program. Our office staff and students pack and prepare over 200 bags for families every week. Extracurriculars are also a focal point for our students. The Big Red Band has over 100 members at MCA and our student-centered television studio offers news, events, and sports to the Mount Carmel community. So our school has a morning news program where we do um, a 10 minute live broadcast every morning that is streamed daily on YouTube and um, on the local cable network. So it goes out to the community as well as everybody in the building. The news is prepared by the students. It's completely student run from everything from the ideas to the writing, to the interviews, to the anchoring and everything behind the scenes is all done by students. I'm the editor of our school news and I kind of write stories go on the anchor and I proofread everything so it's good to go for the morning news. So as a sports editor, I'll be up late at night getting scores together, trying to figure out how our team did that day, what sport was in action that night. Mount Carmel sports is really important to us so we just want to be able to highlight it on its highest level here on the news for the community and for everybody to see. So we really like to interview the players. We just want to be able to highlight them and really show off their abilities on our news. As you can see, we make hype reels before the football games. So we post them on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and it's just kind of a way to get the community hyped up. <laughs> Some of the football players even came to me and were like, I absolutely love this. This gets me hyped up for the game. I'm ready to play. And honestly, that just makes me so happy and I'm hoping that it supports our community. I like being the face of the school. Like I like getting out there. It's an opportunity for you to be more outgoing and I like that we can let our community know what the school is doing. I'm the main photographer, so I get all of the action for football, basketball, but my favorite's probably football. And so I go to every game and I just capture all the emotions out there, every touchdown, every pass. I'm the director of the live football broadcast, and so my job is to select all the great shots that my crew gets for me. And it requires a lot of decisiveness, on the spot thinking, because it is live. I think it's a great program and it's great for the community because if you can't make it to the game, they can watch it from YouTube, wherever you are. It's a great program. It's great for the community. It's great for our students. They do a very good job and I'm very proud of everything that they do. So as you heard from Mrs. Forspring and some of our news students, we're very proud of our news program. But we also cover all of our sporting events, in particular our football games. And that tradition actually dates back to 1962 when Mr. George McPhee started filming the games for Coach Dimonick. What was started by George McPhee and carried on by his son David uh, continues to this day with the students and the level of creativity that they put out in the productions. It really amazes me that they can do this all on their own and we really could not do this without them. We like to stay connected with our alumni at Mount Carmel area, inviting everyone back for homecoming weekend. And we recently launched our Legacy Brick Project where blocks can be purchased as keepsakes. 
Of course, Mount Carmel area is synonymous with football. The community is decked out in red and white, and the team just recorded its 900th victory under coach Don Dara, who serves alongside me in the principal's office. We are looking forward to another great season from the winningest team in Pennsylvania. Go Big Red. Thanks again to the Mount Carmel area TV crew for their hard work tonight. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, it's a quick look at some of the other games going on tonight. The halftime show continues in a moment on WNEP2 and plus.